IR bike lock. Um, or, or an IR light. So we just combined it all into one. So if you go and you want to unlock this remotely and you hit the wrong button, you can get blinking lights, nothing's yeah. going to happen. But if you want to actually unlock it, you aim, the light goes on so you can see, and now you've unlocked your bike. And then you can lock it. You want to lock it back up. Light goes off, and you're locked. And the other buttons are kind of reminiscent of if someone uses a different key um, or different remote control, it's not the right one. So nothing else is set off. You push a button, it sends a specific hex code. Mm -hmm. So if we program in, uh, uh, if we program the program to accept the right hex code, then it will. Oh, so, very cool. So there's a IR to hex standard. Yeah. So there's specific libraries for each remote, and as long as you have that library installed, it'll understand which code you sent in. But the easiest way to figure out what the hex code is is just shining it on, putting it on the serial monitor, and figuring out what the hex code is. Yeah. We also built a emitter, um, but it wasn't as nice, so we just decided to go with the preset remote. It did work at one point in time as well. <laughs> <laughs> we know that struggle. <laughs> <laughs>